Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. The XRP forecast unchanged from the last video. We see that the chart does not look very strong. Um, I am currently not following a bullish scenario here. I've told you two levels above which the bullish breakout scenario will get more likely until these are being triggered yeah, and broken substantially. I'm not going to make the bullish one a primary expectation here for now. I still have to expect at the moment lower lows, which means on the flip side, there are uh, other coins where the bullish scenario is more likely for anybody who's rather looking for coins like that. I would at the moment stay away from um, XRP. There are others that are looking stronger. Okay, that's just my view. So here XRP, the assumption at the moment is that this year was only a wave four and that we are going to come down in an impulse in a five wave move. Now I'm recognizing that at the moment we are in a possible turnaround space. So yes, there is a way to count this bullish as well. But uh, I, I showed you that in previous videos, no, no um, reason at the moment to waste time on that. Because unless we really break above the uh, high here at 38.7 cents, I will not unpack that bullish scenario again. And above 41.6, I think we have a really good confirmation that we indeed might be in the bullish scenario. Until then, I'm going to track this rather bearish reasons for that. Here, this is a, in my opinion, a clear three wave move. Yes, it can be counted bullish. I've done it. It doesn't violate any rules, but it's not really looking great. But this is for me a clear three wave move in a wave A. We then came down in a wave B and we're now moving, or we then moved up in a wave C to finish off wave four. So uh, basically here, and I showed you that in the previous video anyway, A, B, C, yeah. So I take that off the chart again. And then we are now here um, in this wave, in this last wave down. Yeah, it seems like wave four was complete here and we are heading further down. That is at least here the assumption in the bearish scenario. And I gave you the first level here at 38.7 is uh, invalidating this, this bearish pattern, okay? Um, until then we can follow that. Um, no, it wouldn't invalidate it, sorry. It would not invalidate it, A, B, no, it wouldn't. But it would invalidate this imminent sell-off scenario that I'm going to show you now. So assumption would be here in this more imminent sell-off scenario that we've seen here, a wave one down. This might be a two, then we're gonna see a three, four and five. Yeah, um, and then we could make that that lower low here in this in this wave five. So what we don't know yet if this five wave move will be enough to finish off this overall bit uh, XRP correction, or if this will only be the first wave of a five wave move. So what is nice is that in this wave two we can already see a three wave move within, yeah, which makes sense because it, a wave two is a three wave move in itself. No, I didn't want to go to the one minute chart. I want to go to the one hour chart. Yeah, so you can see here that's pro that was probably the wave A, this the B, and we're now in the wave C. And if we take a look at the retracement for this wave two, what would make sense? Where can we turn around? We're currently at the 61.8% FIB level. Wouldn't be surprised if we reach here even the 37.4 cent level, the 78.6% FIB level or 37.8. And here we could also still turn around and then start the wave three to the downside. Best indication wave three to the downside is starting would be below the 36 cent level, below this, um, yeah, here the A, B, C, below the wave B low. That would be a really good indication that wave three is starting, okay? and. Uh, from there, we can then take it. Um, if we go higher than expected above that 38.7 cent level, then we would um, invalidate here this imminent sell off scenario. We could then still be in a wave four. And exactly because of that, I would want to see a move above the wave E high at 41.6 um, cents. And that's currently my view about XRP. So I'm open to the idea it could be something more bullish, but I want to see the evidence in the chart first. Until then, it's only speculation. And until then, we just need to apply logic here and stay um, on the side of caution and understand that, uh, yeah, we can easily drop lower. That would remain primary expectation 
for now. Okay, and that's my view about XRP. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.